Let's make something yummy in my popper. First, I'm filling every little hole with a mini marshmallow. I feel like the mini version of everything is just automatically better. Next, I broke up a chocolate bar and we're going to melt it in the microwave. I put it in for 30 seconds three different times so that the chocolate would be completely melted. During that time, I crushed up some graham crackers. I'm sure you figured out what this is going to be based off of the ingredients. After all the chocolate was melted, I took it out of the microwave and started spooning it over the marshmallows. I think this looks so creamy and delicious. After covering it in chocolate completely, I sprinkled some graham crackers for a finishing touch. Okay, this is the finished product. I'm pretty impressed with myself for getting it out in one piece. This is my favorite poppet. I'm never gonna trade it. Unless it's a really good offer. But other than that, I'm never gonna trade it. Whoa, that girl is so rich. Let's see if she has an offer. Hi, do you have an offer for this poppet? It's really rare and it's hard to find. I see you don't have it in your collection, so maybe this could help. I'll give you the strawberry splat ball. Um, can you maybe add? I'll give you this infinity cube and some magnetic balls. Um, can you add? Okay, I'll give you this dimple. Guys, she's so over, but I'm gonna make her overpay. Okay, sorry to tell you, but you're a little under. Okay, I guess I'll add in all of my triple dimples and all of my simple dimples. Um, can you add? What about all of my needos? I'm sorry, but this is really hard to find, and I don't know if this is really worth it, so please add. Um, I guess I'll give you the splat ball, my three dimple digits. What about you add your whole collection? What? Like I said, it's really hard to find. Okay, fine. <gasps> oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much for 472,000 followers. We're so close to 500,000 followers. Also, can we hit 2,000 subs on YouTube? I bet I could pop all of these before you like, comment, and share. Starting in 3, 2, oh wait, wait, move the camera this way. 3, 2, 1. Did I win? Hi, is this your only poppet? Yeah, it is. Here, you can have mine. Oh my gosh, thank you. Wait a second, isn't this one of those wishing poppets? Well, it wouldn't hurt for me to try. I wish for a dimple digits. No way! This is so cool. Okay, now something small. I wish for a pineapple Orby stress ball. Ooh, okay. I wish for an Among Us poppet. No way, this is so cool. Hey, that's my poppet. What happened to all my fidgets? Oh man. Wait, I think I know. I heard that if someone takes your other poppet or even touches it, then all your fidgets are gone. This is the worst day ever. Hey everyone, this amazing company sent me some amazing products. And if you want any, shop the link in my bio. Even though it's not Christmas time yet, I still love Christmas and I'm so excited for this poppet. Oh my goodness. This is so good. Uh, listen to it pop. Wow. Next is this fish. This side pops so well and it's so cute. Boop. This side is even better. Next is this huge butterfly. Let's pop it. Amazing. This is so good. Both sides are amazing. I think this is one of the best poppets I've ever had. I'm not even joking. Oh my gosh, can I trade for your poppet? 
Sure, but it has to be something pretty good. I'm looking for a splat ball, a sparkly poppet, and one of those spinny dimple fidget spinners. Then I would definitely make a deal. Okay, just hold on a second. Okay. You guys, these are the only fidgets I have. None of these are what they wanted. This is kind of like a splat ball, but not really. So I'm gonna go try and trade with other people and try to get what she needs. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Guys, it's a sparkly poppet. That's one of the things they wanted. I'm gonna try and trade. Hi, can I offer for that? Sure. I'll trade you this poppet and this spiky ball. Deal. Yes, guys, I got the sparkly poppet. Okay. Oh my gosh. They have the spinny dimple and the splat ball. Hi, could I offer for these two things? Sure. Okay, I'll offer this simple dimple and this stress ball. Wow, I love this. It's so pretty. Deal. Here you go. Like for part two. This is the story of the school bully. Let's just say Jenny. She would always bully everybody in class and school. She has a record of bullying since kindergarten. There is a lot of people in my school, and of course, she had to pick me to bully. Every time I would walk past her, she gave me a dirty look, rolled her eyes at me, and even called me really mean names. I just wanted to be friends with her, but she didn't. One day, she even pulled my hair, and that's when I went to go tell the principal. Then they called Jenny into the principal office as well. And that's when she started to tell lies. The principal asked why she was bullying me. She said she wasn't, that I was bullying her. That's when I came in and told her I didn't. That Jenny was doing really bad things to me. Then Jenny started to cry. And of course, the principal believed Jenny. package let's see oh my goodness first i see a splat ball i'm so excited i don't even have one of these yet let's open it oh my gosh the texture is amazing next up is this cute little mochi this is adorable then we have this stress ball this is so soft then we have these there's like a big version and a small version how cute these have such an amazing texture and this one is so cute Next, we have this cute little spiky ball. It is so cute and mini. It even lights up. The balloony pets. So colorful. Last fidget is this beautiful stress ball. 
Oh my gosh, it's a chick, and this has the most amazing texture. This is so pretty. They even sent this unicorn candy as an extra. Make sure to check out their shop in the caption below. Bye, and thank you so much. This is the story of the Kiss Up Kid. Also, this is based on a true story. This kid is really similar to Bella. Let's just call him Joey, because I don't want to call him out. Oh, Joey was always mean. I mean, mean to everyone, even the teachers. Even to his own parents. He would always talk back to his parents. So me, my twin sister, and Joey were really good friends. Until one day, he switched up. He hung out with the wrong crew, and he changed big time. So we were in school, and Joey made fun of us for having a fidget account. He called us out in front of the whole school. We didn't really care because we had 1.2 million supporters. Everyone laughed until they saw how big we were. Joey was kind of jealous. His true colors were showing. A while back, he had told the school that he had started a Pokemon card account. He was getting the attention he wanted until he told the class about our account. He would sit back in the corner because he was so mad that he wasn't getting the attention that he wanted. We were getting the attention he wanted. Me and my twin sister overheard the conversation Joey was having with one of our classmates. Made fun of our classmate for living in an apartment, but little did he know. This is part 9 of the school bragger. So right after the cop had told her that she had to go to a meeting with her parents and the police officer, she said she was not going and no one's going to force her to. I couldn't believe my ears. I was confused because she never acted this bad. Then it was time for the meeting. Cop had had to go to her house and pick her up for the meeting. I didn't know what they said in the meeting, but all I know is that they did go to the meeting. It was the next day and I didn't see her at school. I was so confused because I had saw her in the morning at school. Then it was lunch break, and I saw her group of friends, and they were all just staring at me so weird. Then I went to my second class after lunch, and even the teacher was looking at me so weird. I ran out to my friend, and I was about to ask her why they're looking at me so weird. And even she was looking at me so weird. I ended up finding out that they thought that I had been copying her. The next day came by, and I saw Bella at school, and she was so quiet than usual. Part 10 is on our YouTube channel, OZ Fidgets. It will be posted sometime later on subscribe so you can be notified when it's posted okay this is part three and we're done with the stress balls i know i don't have a lot but i'm getting some more soon but now the big one the poppets i literally lost my jumbo poppet somewhere and i'm so sad but i'll go look for it in a little bit but now let's put the poppets in Okay, that took forever. Now let's put my mini poppets, my dimples, and my other stuff. I totally forgot about my new poppets. I'm going to put some more stuff in my stress ball drawer because I have more room for it in here. Okay, this is part two, and I'm actually going to fill stuff up now. Okay, first, we're going to put the slime bin in now. I'm also going to put my mochis in here because... coming soon. Bye. Sorry guys, I had to leave you off, but bye. Hey guys, I know this isn't my Squishmallow town, but all of these Squishmallows are in my Macari right now. If you want to go buy, you can, but you don't have to. Also, if you buy from me, show me proof of you buying from me, and then I will give you a shout out. You can do that by messaging to me on Macari and saying I'm from TikTok, and then tell me your username, and I'll give you a shout out. Macari link is in the description. If you want to go buy, you can. Bye. Fidget ASMR.